Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to, the, to this VIP corner. The President of the European Commission just had a working meeting with the, the President of Somalia, Mr. Hassan Sheikh Mohamud. They will now do a short statement. Please, Mr. President, go ahead. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Let me start by welcoming President Hassan Sheikh Mohamud to Brussels. We had a very fruitful meeting. It has given us the opportunity to discuss um, key issues of our bilateral relations, but also the situation in Somalia and the future uh, of Somalia, how we can work together to maintain the positive momentum in that country. Somalia has turned the page and wishes to take ownership of its future and of the well-being of its people. I highlighted to President Mohamud during our meeting the importance of maintaining inclusive and accountable government, respect for human rights and basic freedoms, and the provision of basic social services to all Somalis. We discussed how the European Union can assist Somalia in achieving these objectives. The European Union is already the largest donor in Somalia, having mobilized over half a billion euros in development aid since 2008. The EU has also provided large amounts in humanitarian assistance, including 60 million euros this year alone. The President and I have agreed to enhance the long-standing partnership between Somalia and the European Union. We wish to help Somalia in the challenges ahead so that it can lay the foundations for a better future. In doing this, we attach great importance to Somali ownership and we are listening to Somali needs and priorities. We also discuss our continued support for security, which is key to creating an environment conducive to sustainable economic growth where development can take hold and where men and women can contribute to the social economic revival of the country. Make sh making sure that Somalia is at peace with its neighbors is equally important. I encourage Somalia's active and positive engagement in the region, highlighting the benefits that regional cooperation can bring to all countries in the Horn of Africa. Regional cooperation, for example, in trade and in technical common challenges can benefit Somalia and its neighbors. I was very, very um, happy to listen to President Mohamud about his intentions, his objectives, and uh, we believe there is here a real commitment to go forward in not only in the European Somalia cooperation, but also in addressing the very important challenges that uh, uh, Somalia is facing for so many years. And I believe the Somali people deserve that, deserve stability, peace, a state that functions, that works, that the services that uh, uh, all the citizens aspire to because they have the same aspirations as all other people uh, in the world. And I believe we can be part of that uh, um, process, supporting our friends in Somalia. The European Commission will continue to engage with and support Somalia on its path to a stable a political future. I thank you. Thank you, Your Excellency. And it's, uh, first of all, I would like to thank the European Union for the warm welcome accorded to me and to my delegation here in Brussels. <clears throat> I'm very pleased and honored to come to Brussels and to meet with the top leadership of the European Union, and we are very much pleased. Somalia is very grateful for the unwavering support that the EU has been given to the Somali people in the last two decades. Somalia never forgot who has helped it when it needed most. EU naval forces have successfully reduced the threat from the piracy, and we need to work together with the view of dealing the cause of piracy, which includes poverty, chaos, lawlessness, so that our young people will have better future and decent life soon. And that's an area where the European Union has proved it to be very supportive to Somalia. And today we have discussed this with His Excellency. We have now gone beyond dealing with piracy and have successfully negotiated with many of their king leaders to abstain from the piracy actions, hand over the people they kidnapped in the past couple of years, release the vessels that they are keeping in today, and these negotiations are going at advanced stage. In the last couple of weeks, they released six 
of their kidnapped people, and we send these sales seamen to their home and to their family. We are hoping more will happen. A couple hundred uh, piracy are surrendering over to the Somali government and the European Union. We have discussed with to, to them today to support Somalia to make to provide these boys better life. Somalia is emerging from a very long difficult period, and we are now moving away from chaos, instability, extremism, and piracy to an era of peaceful and development. We are aiming to make valuable contributions to the region and the world at large. Today, I provided an update of the huge progress made in the areas of security, political development, social services, and development of good governance institutions to the, His Excellency. This is an excellent time for me to visit EU and to meet with the EU leadership here in Brussels as Somalia is entering a new phase of governance which requires from all of us to work hard and view to bring peace and stability. Today we have had uh, fruitful and frank discussions on many subjects that are mutual interest to Somalia and to the European Union. We are very much grateful and we always remain grateful to the unwavering support that Europe, European Union has always been standing with Somalia. And this is a time we even need more. I'm encouraged by the enthusiasm, the energy, and the willingness, and the interest shown to me and level of commitment to me and to my country. And I'm hopeful that Somalia will reclaim its role in the international landscape and play a more active and more useful member of the international community. We are working for a Somalia that's at peace with itself and at peace with the neighboring countries, with the region, and with the world at large. We look to the future with hope, bright, and optimism. And finally, we have agreed to work very closely on many issues which include combating all threats from piracy, extremism, poverty. We have also agreed to work together for rebuilding Somali institutions as the basis. We have waited and discussed with the European leadership that Somalia at this time needs what Europe has received in 1945 after the war. We are starting everything from scratch and we need a, a engagement that looks like the Marshall Plan in Europe and we hope soon there, were, there will be a very clear position and support that Europe will be providing Somalia to reconstruct and become an active member of the international community, in particular in the region of Horn of Africa, which we are part. I thank you, Your Excellency. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, we are running very, very late, so there will be no time for questions today. I'm sorry. Too bad. <laughs>